something doesn't happen to you, you don't pay much attention to it. Domestic abuse knows no class, social status, race, religion. It can happen to anyone. And when you've been through it, by no choice, you become an expert. You and the, the perpetrator are trapped in this world, just you and them. And somebody, anybody from the outside world, the GP, the police officer asking you a question, that could be your first lifeline. That early intervention from a simple question, I mean, it could have saved me months. You know, in some situations when domestic abuse, you know, it could, it could have saved someone's life. It's absolutely essential that people on the front line ask these questions. Training is the key in changing attitudes. Police, GPs, ambulance, paramedics, people like that, so that they can spot the indicators and then know how to very safely and discreetly start to deal with the situation. I think it's really important that survivors' voices are central, that they're not some kind of add-on or afterthought, because without those voices it would be very easy for policymakers to put in place things that they think are going to work, when in actual fact they don't. If survivors are in there at the very initial stages of starting to think about policy and strategy, the decisions that are then made are the most realistic and the most appropriate ones. I am here because I have been through a process to be part of that survivor voice and I now have the confidence to speak with knowledge not just about what I went through but how it sits within frameworks of policy and, and decision making and I understand the processes much better and therefore the contribution that we can make is absolutely valuable. Becoming involved in survivor representation, I don't exaggerate at all when I say it saved my life. You know, this has been part of my healing, where the courts and the law didn't do me justice. Survivor representation has been that justice for me. So it's not only important for the survivors and the victims of the future, it's important for us survivors ourselves. The aim is to change things. They've got really good things written in the strategy, but it's just monitoring it, implementing it, and not losing sight. You're not just working for a party or for this or for that, you're working for the people. We're real people that this happens to, and it happens all too much.